Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Matthew. And we are proud owners of a mini mansion. If you're watching this video, you've probably found us online. We have a blog called Canadian Renegade, which is dedicated to the building of the mini mansion. And we're going to take you through our process. So one of the first things uh, in our process was why we decided to uh, build the tiny house. Uh, people commonly have different reasons like financial security, uh, maybe they want to change in their lifestyle, or they have environmental concerns. Uh, we had some, some of those reasons and then we had some reasons that were our own. So our starting point for wanting to build a mini mansion was we both knew we wanted a homesteading lifestyle, uh, but to be able to rent uh, a place and then try to purchase property and, and build a house from the ground up, it was just not feasible for our financial situation. So we couldn't afford what we really wanted in terms of an acreage and we didn't want to overextend ourselves uh, to try to get what we wanted um, all at once. Uh, where we were renting, the rent wasn't unreasonable, but we were finding it challenging to continue to pay for, for rent and utilities while saving a large enough sum of money to get ourselves started. And also in the event of somebody losing their job or getting injured or sick, we didn't want to end up in a situation where we could lose the homestead uh, because of some sort of unforeseen circumstance. So. Um, there were some major considerations we had when we were designing the home uh, once we decided we wanted a tiny home and uh, one thing we found during our research is that most tiny homes are designed for warmer climates they're really designed for like three season use um, and we had a severe Canadian winters that we needed to deal with if we wanted to be comfortable so after thinking about um, the different climate problems that we, we would encounter. We came up with a few different solutions. Some of them are kind of innovative, we thought. Uh, one of them is the we have a raised floor in the center of our house and we have lofts on either side. You step down into the kitchen and you step down into the bathroom. Uh, the raised floor area allows us to ba basically created a mechanical room for water storage our hot water tank, our furnace, uh, our water pipes. Our water pipes are inside the house, so they're not going to freeze. Um, and our ductwork and things like that, and as well as some of the electrical. So really what it did was it allowed us to hide all that stuff in a place that wasn't going to use up floor space and uh, also protect it from the weather. Uh, we also built in some redundancies in case something was to break or something was to go wrong. We didn't want to end up in a situation where we couldn't heat or we couldn't cook or something. So we have redundancies in our home for, for cooking and heating. And we also have uh, AC and DC power, which in a way is a type of redundancy. So um, go ahead, Amy. Uh, the other considerations uh, we, we took into account when coming up with the design was our lifestyle. We think that every tiny home really needs to suit the people who's living in it because you really need to maximize that space. There's no one size fits all. So our lifestyle included me working from home. So I needed to have a sufficient desk and office space. Um, we also do all of our cooking from scratch. So I needed a, a large enough kitchen to be able to, to do that. We also do some gardening, which would require like processing the vegetables and, and anything that we wanted to bring in from the garden. Um, we also took into consideration the amount of storage we, we would need and we understand that we can't fit our entire lives in the tiny house, uh, so we do have some other storage such as uh, seasonal clothing, rotating that kind of stuff out. We have a few cubbies and, and a closet. With not being able to fit everything in the tiny house, we understand that there's a need for outbuilding, outbuilding storage. Uh, we don't have any right now, but we plan on installing some once we move the tiny house to its new location. So I have a ton of material that we filmed during the build, there's a lot of photos, and we're going to be uh, putting it up on our blog, CanadianRenegade.com, several times a week. And uh, so stay tuned, and there'll be plenty of information to come. Lots of information. Lots of information to come. Da care. Dance party? Dance, Dance party. it out? Dance it out? What?
Dance out the ending of the video. No. Dance out the ending of the okay. video. Okay. Alright, see you later. See you later. See you later. <laughs>